I have sinned against you, my Lord. Okay, TV evangelists can be a little over and the top, would, uh, but Preflo it. Dollar's appeal for oh, a private jet may take the, the cake. We are believing for 200,000 people to give contributions of 300 U.S. dollars or more. Doing the math, that's $60 million. The head of the World Changers Mega Church in Atlanta asked for the donations in and this so almost six minute video, dubbed Project G650, as in Gulfstream 650. Dollars already a high flyer. We're about to land in Nairobi, Kenya. But it seems his current jet, built in 1984, is showing its age. Engine trouble on a flight to Australia, and more recently, when his wife and daughters were taking off from London, it went off the runway. It's not like a car where you can pull over on the side when something goes wrong. And uh, I knew it was time to begin to believe God uh, for a, a new airplane. It didn't take long for the story of the Jesus jet, as some have dubbed it, to take off, and not in a good way. This woman is a former parishioner. She showed up Sunday to protest, but got told to leave church property. Chris Dollar didn't have a jet when I was here, and now he has one and he's asking for another one. But parishioner Mary Jones, who takes the bus to church, says she'd happily give to Dollar's jet drive. Most definitely, most definitely. We support our pastor, that's what we're here for. Dollar asks parishioners to give 10% of their income to the church, but gives no public accounting of how the millions are spent. Ministrywatch.com is a website that helps donors tell financially the good from the bad. We have in the past uh, identified 30 of the top ministries and 30 of the worst ministries. And unfortunately, uh, Crepo Dollar fell onto the, the worst category. And the main reason for that was this lack of financial transparency. To find out more of how Dollar wants to spend his dollars, I called Daniel Jennings. He's a big seller of private jets. This isn't kind of an entry-level jet. It's not even a mid-level jet. This is the top of the game jet. The Gulfstream 650 is the largest, longest distance, second fastest private jet in the world. And to get one, Dollar may need more than money. He might need divine intervention. The wait for a new one is four years. And there are only four used ones for sale in the entire world. If I wanted to buy a gently used one, what do you think that did set me back? Low 70s, 71, 72 million. Do they finance? 